Welcome to Everwild's Curious Coyote video series where we will be inviting you to join us for a nature-based activity, project, or challenge. We will post your responses to each video within a couple of days of the original post. Stay tuned. Welcome to our Curious Coyote video series. Today's project is wildlife photography. Before we begin our project, I'm going to share a story with you about a man named Paul Nicklin. Paul Nicklin is one of the world's most acclaimed nature photographers of all time. He works for National Geographic and travels the world taking photographs of many different wild animals. His photos often come with a story. He began writing and sharing these stories and photos in National Geographic magazine to share them with the world. He came to love these animals so much that he and his friend Christina Mittermeier created Sea Legacy, which is a nonprofit that helps protect the oceans and oceanic life. Today, I invite you to join us as a fellow nature photographer to share with the world the wildlife that lives in Los Angeles. And remember, wildlife includes bugs and insects. To complete this project, you need a couple of things. The first thing you need is a camera. A smartphone will do just fine. Just make sure you ask before borrowing someone's phone. If you don't have access to a camera, you can also use a journal to draw a picture of the wildlife that you find. Now you may notice that when you zoom in to take a photo of something far away, the quality of the image starts to go down and you end up with a blurry photo. If you take a look at Paul's photos, they are crystal clear. This is because he has a professional camera with a telephoto lens that can zoom in extra close and capture a crystal clear image. Most of us will be using a smartphone or a point and shoot digital camera. Either way, your photo will be most clear the closer you can get. So this means we need to blend in with our environment and be extra stealthy so as not to scare off the wildlife. Step one, choose your environment. You can do this project anywhere where wildlife lives. You can do this in your backyard, by the sidewalk outside of your apartment, in a garden box, throughout your neighborhood, or in a nearby park or forest. I'm going to choose my backyard. Step two, camouflage. Even professional photographers with telephoto lenses camouflage themselves and their cameras and hide in the same spot for days, just waiting for wildlife to pass by. Step three, capture photos of wildlife. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there, watch out. Step four, grab your journal and your camera and pick your favorite photo or drawing and write a story about the wild animal. This story can be nonfiction, true story, or you can create a fictional fantasy or make-believe story. Submit your photo with its story to amanda at everwildla.com for a chance to be featured in our response video. See you next time.